So we have Tour de Alsace stage two today. There was a prologue, then a sprint stage. And this finish up Planche de Belfi has been won by Pidcock before and many other promising young junior, well, young under 23 riders. And today, the person we're going to look at is Santiago Umba. Now, he's had a pretty good result so far. Top 15 in Settimana Ciclista Italiana um, last week, which was a stage race in Sardinia. Um, and a couple other all right results. Um, he's 18, one mere 70, 58 kilos, pure Colombian climber. And um, unfortunately, we don't get to see the data from him. But the guy who finished sixth did 5.6 watts per kilo for 17 minutes. So not the most high level climb performance I've ever seen and about a minute and 40 seconds slower than what they do in the tour. But obviously they don't have a team um, as strong driving it before. And so you can see FDJ Continental on the front here. Then you've got Team Joker or Team Joker um, behind. And then obviously they've got the red, white and a million sponsors jersey of uh, Androni Jacko, Androni Sidemek, uh, and here we thing with Planche de Belfi is very surgy. So that's also sometimes why the numbers aren't crazy because if there's not a team on the front on the flat parts. Everyone's just like, well, I'm not just going to ride at 50k an hour, 40k an hour. Like, look how fast they're going here. Anyway, this young French lad decides. I thought it was a keeper farmer. It might be, and he decides he's going to go, which I think is a pretty clever move. You don't think you've got the best punch at the end because the last like minute and a half is basically what the climb comes down to. This steep 20% wall, which you, I mean, is a classic finish. Aru's one up there. Froome's one up there, um, and obviously hosted the TT last year. Dylan Turns also one up there in 2019 on the gravel part. But he's made a good move here because you know people might mess around behind. And if he can get a gap and then maybe hold it at the end, it's not bad because realistically, it is going to be hard for you to compete with some of the people who are here. There's um, like Umba was obviously, I guess, one of the favourites, but there are also some other um, quality riders from FDJ as well as Team Yoko, who I would say, like you know, are going to be pretty pretty hard to beat on this finish like this. But you can see we're going into the final ramp. Look how fast they're going on this flat section. It really is like pretty much straight, um, pretty much like yeah, pan flat. Um, and then after that, it's just a huge kick up. I don't know. I think it's like 20% or something to the line. And the lad at this point, you're like, fair play. Like, he might actually have it. A lot of Pinot sides on the road. He is from the Vosges, which is where this is taking place um, in in the Tour de Alsace. Well, I guess it's in Alsace itself. Um, and it's I, I think it's quite a good climb, though. It's interesting to analyze like how well they do up it because you've got so many comparisons from Tour de France in recent time, and also Tour de Alsace comes up here every every year as well. Um, so it's pretty good. There's some questionable camera footage. You've got like five cameras and well, four cameras and one sort of thing. Um, but if you look at the bottom left, we're not going to get too much helicopter, sh uh, too much footage, but you can see Santiago Umba on the front now, just drilling it. And he looks so, so strong compared to everyone else. He looks like he was really riding this pretty calm to everyone else. Now we've got some drone footage. He's flying across the gap now and managed to absolutely batter everyone else um, on the finish line. And he zips, comes so easy, zips up his early, his jersey early and takes the W. Um, but yeah, he's definitely a guy to watch out. He's signed till 2024, um, as usual, for the Androni boys. Um, and I think, yeah, he's definitely going to perform. Will he go like Sosa? Will he go like Bernal? That's the question we don't know. Um, we'll have to see. I think he'll probably stay at Androni next year and then, and then, you know, maybe get a good result in the Giro or, or you know, another classic... Italian stage race at Toro Valps, Giro di Sicilia, something like that. And then, you know, who knows? We'll see what happens with the boy. But the chance of him going world tour, very, very, very high.